All right, welcome back YouTube to another episode of Chris Glides. And today I'm also gonna be installing these highway pegs on the uh, mustache bar of the 23 Harley Davidson CVO. And um, I'm gonna let you do it with me, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these, but um, just to let you know, one thing that I always do is I always put the Harley Davidson brand on. I've tried some Amazon brands and other brand um, highway peg mounts and they just, they spin or they don't go on there right or they tighten and the bolts strip and things like that. So ever since I've had those type of issues, I've only went with the Harley Davidson brand for my highway pegs. And um, you know, some people might've had better experience, but I didn't. So what ended up happening before when I tried the other brand, see how I have that um, cut or engrave or scratch right there. That was just from some other ones that weren't previously that that spun or when I tried to tighten it, you know, I might have pulled it to adjust it, but it just wasn't right. So today I'm installing the same exact setup as I have on Grady. And I went with the Empire because it's it's all black. And um, to uh, match it up to this, the one that they have for right now is just uh, like this color silver or gray but I don't like it because all the other controls on here and different things on here is black. So I'm just gonna go with that for now. We'll see how it looks. It's gonna mismatch the series, but hey, I'll be able to put my foot on there, so. Okay, so get into the parts. You're gonna have your highway pegs and also your um, foot peg kit, which um, they're gonna be sold separately. So your foot pegs and highway peg mounting kit is gonna be sold separately. So like I said before, I go with Harley Davidson brand. The tools you're gonna to need is an eight millimeter. Um, and um, so that's gonna fit in both this side and over here to uh, mount the actual peg itself. You wanna check over your parts list. If, you know, some people like doing that before you get started. Um, these are your parts and warnings and things like that. But um, basically it's straightforward. You can follow the diagram to see where your washers and things go as far as the placement in itself. I am going to mount this on this side and then I'm gonna loosen this part up, put my foot peg on. And um, that's pretty much gonna be it guys. It's, um, it's self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go ahead and go by the numbers or the steps that I do. The first thing I do is I always go ahead and install um, my actual foot peg to the uh, mounting assembly. Okay, so what I did, I just removed the bolt by hand and I slid the peg through and um, you have your, it's called a D-spring washer that is gonna go between there. Um, and then you just go ahead and run that, tighten that down. And then now it's ready to go on. Once you tighten that down, then it's ready to go on the actual um, bar itself. So by hand, I always just use this without the actual, um, just use the uh, socket it's without using the socket. Um, I just go ahead and just put this on by hand. That way I could align it, see where my feet are gonna go, how to adjust it outward. And just keep in mind, um, loosen this up and then turn it because you could put scratches in just like how I showed you on the other bike. All right, so once that's on, and um, I just have this loosely on there so I could adjust it. But you are still gonna have your set screw. Remember those screws, they already have Loctite and stuff on them. So there's two holes. You wanna, you wanna insert it into the lower hole. And this is a T10. It's gonna be a T10 screwdriver or you can use whatever T10 you have. And um, that's how you're gonna um, go ahead and put that on the bottom one and make your adjustment for your foot control. Whoops, so that's, that's how loose that is on there. That's why I went down. So that's screwed in place. All right. So now we just have to make our tightening adjustments and we'll be done. I'll, you'll just do the same thing on the other side. And um, the hardest thing about all this, guys, is just, you know, just getting it the correct foot placement for where you want it to be, um, how you ride. So having two partners do this or two people do this, um, it's helpful, but you can also just keep getting on and off and 
and just making your adjustments. I like putting them both on before making the adjustments because if you do one side, it doesn't really work out because you need both uh, locations in place so you can actually do this, so. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and fasten these on and uh, move on uh, and get finished. So I'm gonna use my torque wrench. It says to tighten these at a reasonable tightness, but not to exceed 55 um, foot-pounds. And um, so it says not to exceed between 55 and 60 foot-pounds or 75 to 81 Newton meters. And um, so this other part up here is with the 19 foot-pounds is talking about this one here. So get these tight on there for your specs. Make sure they're lined up equal distance if that's how you wanna ride and uh, get that on. Okay, so before tightening these up, I did remember that these do not have Loctite on. So I went on and put some Loctite on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. And just before adjusting uh, this part with 19 foot pounds of of uh, tightness, you wanna go ahead and put some Loctite on, blue Loctite on these, because everything else came with it except for these. So one other note, when you use a torque wrench, when you hear that click one time, that's where you're supposed to be. Don't keep cranking it till you keep hearing the clicks because you're only tightening it more. So with just uh, the 19, I've got it tight. And uh, man, that thing's on there stiff, but it's on, so I like it like that. And uh, all this is set and good to go. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and um, I will be finished. All right, just like that, I have the uh, highway pegs installed and um, not a difficult to install, just um, it's gonna take some adjustment. I'll probably get on there and figure out that I don't like it at that position. So I'll just loosen it up and just make my adjustments. But that's how you install your highway pegs on your 2023. Harley-Davidson CVO Road Glide. Until next time, see you guys. Thanks for watching Crystallize.